forget to come and pick up your feelings. Don't leave no pieces. You need to hurry and pick up your feelings while I'm up cleaning. Hey y'all, it's the wig pharmacist and I'm back again with another video. And as you can see by the title, I got a little surprise for you guys. I did get married. Your girl is officially hitched, so. Um, we eloped and in Florida. He lives in Florida, I live in Canada. Well, I live here now, so that's where I am right now. Um, basically, we had kept this for a, a secret for almost six months. Um, we got married November 2nd, 2020, in the middle of a pandemic, in our living room. It was cute or whatever. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna insert a clip of how my living room was set up. It didn't even look like a living room. It looked like a banquet hall. Legit. Shout out to our pastor. She was not playing. She came to decorate, and she was just like, even though we told her we want something little small, she's like, nope, nothing small. We're not doing nothing small. We're gonna. You have to dress nice, because we're going to do it in track suit and track pants. She's like, nope. We're going to dress nice. We're going to make the place look nice. We're going to hire a professional singer. So they hired a professional singer. They basically, like, we just, like, did it like it was our, reg our, our real day. But um, everyone's been asking, are we still going to go through with the wedding this year? No. We're not having a wedding this year anymore because of the pandemic and how serious Canada is taking it. Um, Doug Ford is like really shaking it. Like over here, we can do whatever we want to in Florida, but in Ontario, like they are clutching their pearls. They're scared. Um, so just to be safe, we're not going to do the wedding this year because just because like, I already put a deposit down on the bank hall and whatever, but I don't want to go book this wedding, then these people come up with a new rule that only five people can be in a room together. Like, no, no. If, if, if 150 of us can go to a grocery store, 150 of us can come to a, to a wedding. Don't play with me. Everyone wear a mask. Well, I don't even want a mask. I don't even want a whack. Like, imagine how whack that is. Everyone in your wedding photos wearing masks. Like, oh. Remember that horrible time a virus came out of nowhere and just ruined the world? No one wants that. So I'm like, I'm not doing that. So um, I'm going to give you a little background on how we met and stuff like that. We met. It's so ghetto. Every time I hear they try to say it, I'm like, ah, ghetto. But we met on Facebook. He slid in my DMs. Ladies. He might be there in the DMs. Don't ignore it. It might be, he might be there. But he was just dumbstruck by my chocolatey parents. Who can blame him? <laughs> Anyways, so we talked for, like we met in 2018. End of 2018, like December online and then we seen each other for the first time a day after his birthday which is january 6th is the day we met and we see each other in person first when i saw his profile picture i was like oh i wish i think i'm a tag <laughs> i might just post the picture that he, he had up i was just like i almost didn't answer him but something just made me answer this guy. Cause the way, I just was almost not gonna answer him, but he messaged me first one time, didn't answer. The second time he messaged me, I'm like, let me just answer him, bro. I was this close from being single for the rest of my life, that close. So he's like, um, so after I see him in person, I'm like, whoa, you are a reverse catfish. But his profile picture was from 2015. Like, I don't know why men do that stuff. Like, why do you still have the same degge degge picture from when you started your Facebook? Why? Change it up. So I see that he had like braids and he had like this New York accent that I really liked. It was kind of cute. 
so i was like okay maybe this might work but this probably might not work because he lives so far he literally went to barry for his birthday um from florida to barry um where his cousin lives in barry and then he made his cousin drive him from barry to Bram to come to Brampton to come see me i was like oh this is some dedication dedication never seen this type of dedication before so i'm like okay but we're probably never gonna see each other again because like he's just in the city for now not this man this man was like yo uh you come to see me next month i'm gonna fly you out and i'm like in my head i'm like i don't even know you you could be an axe murderer or a serial killer you think i'm gonna fly out to come see you no so he's like fine i'll come see you so he comes in March, so this is now from January. Um, we talk all February every day on FaceTime. And then he comes in March. So he comes, we spend the weekend together, get to know each other a little bit more, go out to dinner, show him Toronto. And he was only there for three days and then he left. And then I'm like, okay, I got a little bit braver. And I'm like, okay, two weeks from now, I'll go to you. So now, because I work for myself, I can leave whenever I want to. So. I left for two weeks, I mean left two weeks later and I was there by myself because he had to go to work so we really got like two days to spend together because I'd only spend like a weekend or a week there because I still had to go back to my clients so, like I had to work and then we did that for like on and off for about two years where we go, where he come here, come there, he come there, I come there. Then that's between 2018 to uh 2020 2021 till now because i'm still not fully moved to florida but i'm in the process of moving to florida but you can't just pick up and move yourself to people's country like that you know you have to go through paperwork and stuff like that but i think i'll do a, like a video of how of like vlogging my experience um from transitioning from canada to the u.s we just kept doing that and then after a while i realized like yo i kind of like him like he was different from the other guys like we were celibate um and he was a church going guy i liked that he goes to church uh, he was tall he was dark skin all the things that i had written down he was so let me just go back to how before i even got him so i remember i went to this church a visiting pastor was there and he's preaching and he's like it sounds demonic i know it's gonna sound demonic because i know it's like i just know how it's gonna sound but he's like yo he gave everyone a tissue paper i should have been like a rebuke in jesus name but he gave everyone a tissue paper Kleenex and anointed it and he said I guess because he didn't have book leaves or paper notebooks to give everyone so he said gave everyone Kleenex in the church and said write down the things that you want God to do for you and then put it under your pillow and pray right it sounds the more <laughs> the more I talk about it is the more I'm like I'm sure without a shadow of a doubt I know <laughs> That was witchcraft. <laughs> but it worked. <laughs> Let me just tell you. I put exactly what I wanted. I said, I want my husband. I was single for two years. I'm like, I'm ready for him. And send him. God, if you don't send him, I'm going to be a hoe. So you, you decide what you want. Let me know. So, yeah, after I got bright with God, um, <laughs> I... Kind of that was a baby april 2018 i had made that like list and put it under my pillow till it till one day i even just sweeped it away because i forgot it was there and i just remember asking for what i wanted then i went to another church service in about august 2018 and august maybe july um and he's like pray for the guys like pray for what you want so i prayed and i'm like what my husband Oh my husband, I want to get married. I'm ready to get married. And I was like 22 at a time. So he's like, he stopped. He's like, okay, somebody just prayed for a husband. And I'm letting you know he's coming. The Lord wants you to know he's coming. And I literally said it in my mind. I didn't say it out loud. I said it in my mind. And I'm like, God, that was me. So I turned to my sister. Yo, she can attest to this. I turned to my sister. I'm like, yo, I just prayed that. I'm scared, fam. <laughs> I'm like, I'm scared, fam. That was just me. I'm telling you, it was me, guys. And they all look at me like, mm-hmm, yeah, you're crazy. But I'm like, no, guys, that was me. 
So he's like, I don't want to, the guy, pastor's like, I don't want to call you out, but will somebody just pray for their husband? He's coming. Anyways, fast forward, I bump into a friend from school and we started talking, but then I realized he wasn't like my type. So I let him go and thank God I let him go in time because I'm the kind of person I'm royal. Even for just talking, I'll cut off everybody else. So thank God I cut him off. We were only talking about for like maybe three, four weeks. I cut him off. And then that's when I met Adolf, my husband. We've reached now the pandemic phase. I can't go to the USA and he can't come to Canada. So basically what we have to do is we we, we we really face we FaceTime every day till we had nothing to talk about because we ain't do nothing we're in, everyone's in quarantine we can't leave the house and we're just like okay how was your day same as yesterday okay and that was the conversation until we had to start getting creative and just like basically read books ebooks watch we watch movies together on netflix like he'd be at home and then i'd be at home and we just put on the same movie at the same time um we would play scrabble over the phone play games over the phone verse each other like we just did a lot of things to try to keep us still um like close to each other and keep us active because after a while the conversation ran out when you don't do nothing all day what you're gonna say you're gonna be dead I looked out the window today, I saw a bird. I was supposed to go to Florida in March, ended up my flight getting canceled because that's when they really realized, March 2020, is when they really realized, yo, something's going on and nobody's finna travel until we realize what's going on. So I didn't travel from March to about July. So now we've been doing this whole, you know, keeping each other entertained and whatnot and we've been doing it and it, it was working out or whatever. But um, then it kind of started to decline. We started to like get in arguments where we'd be like, oh, he's like, yo, I need to see you, I need to see you. But he wasn't understanding because Florida, they don't give a rat's hind parts about no damn coronavirus. Canada cares. Because they said, you guys are not gonna be using up our free healthcare just cause it's free. Doesn't mean everyone has to go use it at the same time. But America's like, girl, if you wanna go out and party and you get coronavirus, come to the hospital, pay your money, go back home, live your best life. That's how it is over here. Nothing's closed, no restrictions. Maybe they have like a one, two mask place to ask you to play, wear a mask, but it's not. It's not like in Canada. So he's not understanding like, Fam, do you think I could step my foot on a plane without Canada's permission? No, like I can't do that. So now June comes and then we finally come out of lockdown. And I said, Doug Ford, you don't know what you just do. Because guess what? I'm like, I'm going everywhere. Girl, <laughs> why three days after lockdown I catch coronavirus? Now, I might do a coronavirus start story, but so I was just go to Florida to June 20th, that pushes back my trip again. So now it's March, April, May, June, July. Five months, but we hadn't seen each other since December 31st. So it's seven months since we've seen each other in person. So now he's getting mad again. He's like, yo, it's getting pushed back. Like, I need to see you now. Like, it's not even a joke thing. Like, it's getting hectic go here. So now July comes and I'm better. I'm tested negative so I can go about my business, go live my best life. So I go to Florida, live my best life, literally. And then now, fast forward, we spent, I spent two months in Florida. So then October comes and that's when I get engaged.
<laughs> so I get engaged. It was cute or whatever. I did not expect it. It was complete surprise. It was Thanksgiving when he kind of snuck into the country, came into the country. Um, and yeah, it was lit. And then we had only been engaged for maybe a month and then we got married the next month. So we just like, I don't know, he kept asking me. He asked me once and I said, no. He kept asking me like, okay, let's go get married. Let's go get married. Like, I don't want to wait anymore. Let's go get married. So I said, what are you, are you breeding? Why do you need, me to, why do you want to get married? So quick, like, let's plan a nice wedding. I don't want no like chaka chaka wedding. I want something nice. So he's just like, okay, he leaves me alone. Then he asked me again. He's like, I want to get married. Like, I want to get married. And I'm like, do you? And he's like, I want to get married. And I'm like, okay, nah, I don't really want to, I want my big wedding, I want my big wedding. He's like, okay, he leaves me around. No. So the third time he asks me, I said, you know what? In my life, things always work in threes. So I said, you know what? He asked me three times. I'm not gonna say no again. I'm just gonna do it because it's a sign. Like sometimes God gives me very subtle, subtle, subtle signs. And you think it's nothing, but you have to like really listen to that voice. So I said, you know what? I don't know what's gonna happen. Let me just do it. So I did it. We did it and it was cute, it was nice. I'm still going to have my big one. I have to have my, I never went to prom, so I need my big wedding. Like it's not even a joke, it's super hectic. I need my dress, I need my bridesmaids, I need my all white wedding. And the official date for the wedding, y'all won't know, <laughs> but it's 2022 is when the next wedding is going to be. We were supposed to do it 20, what year is it, 2021? We were supposed to do it this year, July. But because of the whole pandemic foolishness and uncertainty of it and the rules and some days are good, some days we're not good, I said, we'll wait till next year when everyone gets their vaccine or whatever and we'll do it up big, big, big. So stay tuned on the update. I'm going to do a vlog of my wedding from each and every sector because i'm trying to keep my wedding under ten thousand, and we're gonna see if we can do that you know he a cheap bastard and so am i so we're gonna see if we can do that i am actually gonna let him come into the video um so yeah okay y'all here he is state your name adolf <laughs> i don't know why he's trying to act shy like it's just us two and um so like how do you feel now that you're married <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Um, I feel good. Mm -hmm. I feel trapped. What? <laughs> Does you feel trapped? You're uh, really bright. No, I feel good being being married. I feel loved. Oh, why did you marry me? Or why did you want to get married? Oh, uh, well, you wanted to marry me, so I just said okay. This, <laughs> this Negro. <laughs> you said, oh, wow. Anyways, that's not how it went. Why you wanted to marry me? It's the question. Why you said yes when I asked? Because I felt bad for you. You're on me for so long. <laughs> I'm joking. It's because, I don't know, I just love you. And yeah, like, I wanted to, I seen a future with you and I just wanted to obey God. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, another question is, how did we meet? You slid in my inbox, duh. Wow, you not, you don't want to go to heaven, eh? <laughs> it's not well, you don't want to go to heaven. I did not. I will never slide in on niggas inbox, okay? So how we met? You slid in my inbox. I'm going to drop, I'm going to drop. You want me to drop the, the screenshot? <laughs> I did slid in Okay, slide before you make people, DMs. trying to make people think I'm beg or something. Okay. I stalked, I stalked your page for a little bit. Really? For like a long time? Tap it. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay, and let me think of another question. Um, okay, what theme do you want for our big wedding? Uh, regular theme. I want like a very luxurious expensive 
be. Oh, luxurious and expensive. Watch your style. On Mr. Carver expense. <laughs> Leave my father <laughs> out of this. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's out of your pocket. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Um, ask me questions too. You can ask me questions. Um, if you have any questions, you can think of. He's trying to pretend that he's shy oh, yeah, and that he shy. can't talk. I'm mute. No, you're a tegareg when you're ready. <laughs> Um, what do you like about me? Uh, What's my favorite aspect that you like about me? Um, I like that you know how to shut up. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I like your height. I like that's physical, but I like your face. I like your beard. I like your personality. I like how we we joke around and how we vibe. How it's our relationship's always fun. And like I don't dread coming home, even though like yeah, you tap dance on my last nerve. You know, it's still a pleasure to be around. Okay, and do you want kids in the future? And how much if you want kids? Maybe one more. One more. When? I don't know. Probably next two years or so. His clock is ticking. Yes, his clock is ticking. My clock is ticking. His clock is ticking. <laughs> We are six years apart. I forgot to add that. I'm 24. I'm 24. Yeah, I'm 24, turning 25 in August. And 31. 55. <laughs> I'm joking. Robert 31. <laughs> Whatever. And yeah, we got two sons. And uh, hopefully it stays like that. And there's no more additions for the time being. Um, <laughs> Or maybe maybe one girl. One, I'm surround. I'm the only girl in this house, and it drives me nuts. Um, what does it? Did I ask you what you liked about me? Um, yeah. What do you like about me? What's your favorite aspect about me? You're pretty. Like your skin complexion. Oh, thanks. Funny. Oh my God! You find me funny? You told me the other day my jokes weren't funny. <laughs> funny looking, but. Uh, <laughs> um. Kinda saved. <laughs> you just say kinda saved? Wow. <laughs> That's rude. Alright. That's it? Well, see y'all in the future. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's trying to close out, but... Okay, that is it for this video. You might see him more, depending on... Um, I'm gonna clean up too. Yeah, he when he gets his hair braided and his get a haircut or whatever. Actually, learn how to start braiding my hair. Mm -mm, we don't do that. We do wigs, wigs and wigs only. Um, so yeah, that is it for this video. And if y'all want to see him again, just put him in the com put in the comments, and he'll be in the videos. If not, we're gonna give him the boot. So <laughs> thank you so much for clicking on my link and. Like, comment, subscribe, you already know what to do. And thank you for filling your prescription with The Wig Pharmacist.